Despicable Three. Morning everyone. Morning. It is Monday and day two of our Abu Dhabi holiday and today we are going to Ferrari World. So we've just left our hotel which is the WB Hotel on Yaz Island and I'll show you the outside of Ferrari World. It's just over the road. So we're just crossing the road here over to Yaz Mall but as I pan round to the right this red dome over here is Ferrari World. It's attached to the mall and you can see a little bit of some of the coasters over there as well. It's good because we're having a bit of a pool morning so it'll be nice here and get some rides done. This is the more thrill element of the holiday, I'd say. Yeah, there's more thrilling rides at Ferrari World than Warner Brothers World here. Ferrari World today doesn't open until 12 o'clock midday. So like Jimmy said, we managed to have a couple of hours by the pool, nice chill, and then head to the theme park. You've been waiting for this one, haven't you? I've been waiting for all of it, but yeah, I'm excited for this. We've got some good stuff today, so let's see what it's all about. We've walked through the mall and found Ferrari World. It's half 11 and the park officially opens at 12, but just as we've got here, they've started opening up the gates. So we're gonna head in now. There's two rides in particular that we're really excited for today. And one of them is Mission Ferrari, which only opened maybe about a month ago, like not that long ago. And it's meant to be one of the most like technologically advanced rides. The most no, The. <laughs> so we're really excited to try that. And also Formula Rossa, which at the moment is the fastest roller coaster in the world. That one I'm a little bit nervous about. Jim was offering up front row for me and Jimmy because he's sitting twos, but I've said I wouldn't even want that <laughs> because I'd be too scared of a bird hitting my face. So these two are going to volunteer as tributes for that. Wow, just come into the ticketing hall. I love that, the uh, pony in the middle. That's cool, isn't it? Pony. Also, why don't more theme parks have this, an annual pass hub? That's really cool. It's like a nice lounge area. This entrance is incredible. Look at the car, like coming up over here. I don't think the camera will do it justice, just like how high the ceiling is. It's like a really modern building. So our tickets for Ferrari World are included with our hotel stay. There are quite a few hotels, aren't there, that do include like your park tickets. So if you're looking at coming here, it may work out more cost effective to stay in one of those hotels. Oh, wow. I want to work out where Mission Ferrari is, I think. Don't know if anything's open yet, but this looks cool. It's 20 minutes till the park fully opens, but they have got this information desk. Jim's just gone to grab a map. And I don't know if you can see on the telly at the back there, they've got a karting academy, 40 AED per person. So that's about a tenner, isn't it? Just under a tenner. You book a time slot on there. Sharpen your race skills on a 290 metre long track. 290 metre track. I feel like I'm in Mission Impossible. There's a timer that's just come up in the middle for park opening. So as you can see, it's uh, nine minutes to go. Something that is confusing me though, are all the crowds are over to the left. I do think that's where Formula Rossa is. Whereas as I pan around to the right, you'll see there's no one queuing, but Mission Ferrari is literally just there. So I'm just wondering, is that gonna be open? Is that open today? Five, four, three, two, We were really hoping to do Mission Ferrari as the first ride, but that's not opening until 2 p.m. today. So we're making our way back round to go go to Formula Rossa. I'm doing my good Samaritan bit, telling everyone that's yeah. uh, looking a bit confused. Yeah. 2 p.m. We've entered the F1 zone, so it looks like if you've got any little ones that aren't big enough for Formula Rossa, you've got to be 1.4 meters for that. We've got quite a nice little play area. I'll be going on that. I was really hoping we'd be building up to this <laughs> with Mission Ferrari. Going straight for the big guns, aren't we? Can't wait. Oh my gosh. We're just in the queue now, but down here, that's where you'll go shooting down. We'll show you a better view later. Here's the first train of the day going out. See how everyone has to wear goggles. Hopefully it shouldn't be too long before we're getting on here now, should it? So, obviously there's no cameras on this ride, so I'll put the camera away, we'll see you when we get off, and hopefully no birds will hit us in the face. <laughs> What did you think? <laughs> it was hot. Did you enjoy it? Yeah. But like my whole face was like 
<laughs> I'll bet it was. What about you, Jim? That's something else, isn't it? That beginning bit, jeez. It just always. keeps getting faster and faster. Unreal. It just goes on, like saying, on and on, doesn't it? But wow, what an expert. I'm so glad to say that I've ridden that now. Buzz it. So, just for a bit of context, there was a lot of downtime, wasn't there? And we'd agreed the lads all go to the extra queue for the front row. And I said, oh, I'll just go on my own first and wait for you. So, I went on it, and then I saw three back empty cars. Back row, yeah. Then I saw three empty carts go round and I was really worried in case you'd dip and like not do it. But then like two more cars and then I'll put in some footage now, I saw the uh, lads going round. There was a lot of downtime in between that that said they couldn't say yeah. how long we were welcome to wait or go and do the other attractions. Whenever you hear that in a the theme park, always yeah. stay. Yeah. And the bit where I knew it was going to be okay, a maintenance man turned up and had a moustache. Oh really? And people with moustaches are always really good at fixing stuff. So I said to Jimmy, <laughs> we've got the top boy here now, he's got a tash. Next thing you know, we're on it. But you know what, even with that downtime, that's taken about an hour, hour and ten. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah. yeah. You'd queue that for a good ride anywhere else, wouldn't you? So, um, the queue's next to nothing now because so many people yeah. bailed when they said they couldn't say how long it was going to be. So. But you were like two carts away in like front row as and well. We'd front row right, so yeah, yeah. I'm, just, I'm glad that we uh, that we dug in we haven't had a drink in a while so right next to formula rossa there is like a snack station I'll just give you an idea of prices bottle of water is 10 aed this wasn't on the menu but they also had some samosas and for three pieces which is one portion 29 aed so the samosas are on the secret ferrari world menu i'll <laughs> let you know how to access it and also what's quite nice with samosas you get a couple of the uh, tomato ketchup oh really sachets uh, oh. <laughs> Mango chutney would have been nice, wouldn't it? I'll put in the proper calculation on the screen, but we've got two bottles of water, one portion of samosas for 49 AED. They smell really nice, I'm interested to see how good they are. Nice and hot. We love the smoke, so yeah, they're nice. Yeah? yeah they're good. Oh yeah, they're quite deep filled, aren't they? Plenty of filling in it. You know what, those samosas were actually really spicy, weren't they? I'd say they're like Madras level, wouldn't you? They've got a, a bit of heat, they're not trust level. I think we're needing something of a bit more of a gentle pace now. So we're going to do Benno's Great Race, which is only a five minute wait. I think we're shrunk to the size of a mouse again. Oh, this is cute. I think this is going to be more my cup of tea. This has been a walk on, it's another shooter. This is really cute. It's a shooting ride. You've got a spanner and you need to just like shoot with the spanner. Oh wow, so you're giving like scissors on the screen. And then you're pressing the button to cut the ropes. Oh, this is really cute. You can feel the vibration as you cut the ropes. Oh, wow. Got some set pieces as well. Oh. Build Bano's car. Ah. This is really cute. Detour. <laughs> is that a crash? Oh dear. Oh, we've got squashed tomatoes now. Oh, cut the spider webs. So, just to show you, this is another trackless ride. So, it's ever so smooth. You ready? Oh, like the fireworks. Oh, down here. <laughs> that was delightful, wasn't it? That was a lovely ride. That was a really good ride. The spanners that you shoot, so as you sit down, look for the colour at the bottom, and then that's the colour of like whatever instrument you're using, whether it be like scissors or hammers or anything. But that was quite good to be able to identify yeah. like who you are, because you can struggle with that a bit. The saying that you're colourblind, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> oh well, it was good for me anyway. I'm very basic, I've not got a moustache. I think for me that could be a contender for favourite ride of the day. I'm a bit more about the dark rides than the coasters. I mean it was a good ride but like we went 150 miles an hour. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think I'll leave that for the boys. To be fair it's only 149.1 miles an hour so it wasn't only. that fast, only. only. Two very different paces of ride but that was, that was a little bit. That was a really nice. good ride and it's nice to know that they have got some that cater for like the little ones. Do you know what I mean? It's not just like a big coaster and park. And the big little ones. <laughs> like me. It's five to two and we've seen they're letting into the queue for Mission Ferrari. 
So this is another one we've been waiting for, isn't it? This might be another contender for riding the Oh, you don't never know. This is the one where it's meant to be like super high tech and like lots of different effects that you don't get on other coasters. So I'm really excited to see it. So the lockers for this ride are outside the front. So we're going to stick everything away and then we'll see you when we get off. Right, we are off Mission Ferrari. It was only about a five, ten minute wait, but the ride itself that was incredible that was incredible we had seen like a cheeky pov of it just us two so we knew a little bit what to expect and i thought it looked a little bit cheesy or a bit underwhelming on the video i would say don't bother watching any of those videos yeah, and just come and experience it just to give a little spoiler of what happens on it you've got so many different elements of where it like will turbo boost you there's bits where you go backwards that you like tilt forward and like judder um, you have a sideways drop which was very strange to experience like on a coaster there's just so many different elements of it it's a bit of a cheesy storyline isn't it yeah it's james yeah. bondy oh, but storyline but it, it all it's good it works doesn't it yeah and really, we like a storyline really we like storyline to a ride don't we so that was incredible there is one bit where you like boost out the building and so i can show you that little bit of track here it comes Upside down loop there. Just outside the ride, they have got some merch of the ride as well. Just to give you an idea of price, the hat is 175 AD. So that's got to be like what 40 odd quid? That's expensive. And, and one thing, yeah. I really don't like that part. Don't you? Just like that. Oh, like, it just looks ugly. Oh, I like it. Jim's found a t-shirt here as well. It's got Ferrari World on the sleeves, but that's 225 AUD, so about 50 quid. Hot, 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 hot. <laughs> don't fancy it? Oh, no. Price. They've got a few others as well, but I don't dare look. As we've come out of Mission Ferrari, we've managed to see this little ride here, so I think you're just going around in the car. You quite like the look of it, don't you, Jimmy? I don't want to do it, it looks nice. It does look just really satisfying, doesn't it? Just driving around like a little Italy. You can also see a bit of turbo track over there, and that's another like coaster that comes out into this area. There's some beautiful little areas down here. It's like a little Italian street. So this little car driving ride is called Bell Italia. Shouldn't be too long a wait by the look of it. Excited? Oh yeah. It's quite a nice view of the park from down here, isn't it? So there's that turbo truck over there. And there's Mission Ferraris, a little bit that comes out there. Gorgeous. We're on and driving. I can see Jimmy in my little mirror there. <laughs> these are actually really comfy seats in these cars, aren't they? They're like properly like padded, got my little seat belt on. You're just coming for a little drive with Jimmy, eh? <laughs> Jim's over there in his car about to take off. Hey, what, you get a little bit of speed on this, don't you, Jimmy? It's nice. Oh, Jimmy, we're coming up to Pisa, the leaning tower. Oh, this is such a gentle little ride. It's well worth coming on, weren't it, mate? Yeah. Coming up to some water now. Some people over there driving the boats. There's another view there of Mission Ferrari. So there's the entrance down there. That's the bit where you come out. We don't have this book. I think the zip line was fully booked before you even came out, wasn't it? But it is an option that you can do a zip line and a roof walk. To be fair, it does look really cool, particularly the zip line. I do wish we could have done that. The next ride here is Flying Aces. This is another roller coaster, isn't it? Oh, it's a big roller coaster. Yeah? That's the loop you go through on the um, zip line. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, so it says it here, it's a high speed roller coasters, extreme heights, dips, twists and turns. This is another one where the lockers are outside of the ride, so we're going to pop everything away. The Flying Aces was absolutely incredible. I would say that was unexpectedly good, would you? Best ride here for me, that is so far the yeah, yeah, definitely, that was really good. It was a shame we couldn't film the queue, because it was a bit like a... Uh, Sort of like a World War II sort of RAF type Air Force Museum. You can see a little bit of the ride loading station here, but like the way that all like the planes are above you, it was, honestly, the camera isn't doing it justice. It was really cool. What else was really cool is we hadn't seen this coaster before coming out here, and like as you're loading, there's this screen, so you don't see anything literally until you're then going up the lift hill. And this is it, you come out, you immediately go up. 
and that first drop it reminded me of Mako you're sort of like near vertical as you go down that is awesome then as it comes around here this is the one bit where you go upside down there's just a little corkscrew at the end that was such a good ride and the way that you're sat's really interesting as well because like the middle two seats are a bit higher than the edge ones jimmy just spotted this guinness world record here and it's for the world's largest ferrari logo which is on the roof of the theme park and you can see it if you do the roof walk we're down in the back streets now definitely a different vibe to a lot of theme parks isn't it jim it is, yeah. <laughs> Going to an Italian theme park in Abu Dhabi. It's actually a Cornetto, I saw them, you know, where we've got the waters and samosas. Oh, yeah. Had them in the freezers. Oh, tempted. tempted. We're just walking past this ride. It's called Made in Marinello. Now, from what we've seen of Made in Marinello, we think it's a bit of a living with the land, but for making Ferraris. So it might not be our cup of tea. We didn't come here for education, did we? Making pizzas? <laughs> making pizzas. We'd be all over it. <laughs> but making Ferraris, probably not. We're not really car people, are we? I would like to do it, but we're coming back again, aren't we? So we'll yeah. probably do that one on a return visit. That's it. We've got two trips to Ferrari World like planned for this week. So we're not sort of like rushing to like try and get everything done. And it'll be quite nice to sort of have some other things to look forward to, such as Made of Maranello next time. <laughs> This is really quite a beautiful area though. We're gonna do this one now. It's called Speed of Magic. We're thinking this might be a flying theater. So it turns out this isn't the flying theater. We're gonna be sat in some cars. So this is a moderate thrill dark ride. How do you like your thrills? Moderate as well. We get some 3D glasses as well. Just as we've joined the queue, the ride's gone down. And we're the only people sticking it out, aren't we? We really want to see what the magic is. <laughs> we're still standing. Oh, that is what you're <laughs> What's that? Oh yeah, for staying when a ride goes down. Let's tell you you've got to leave, don't you? Yeah. They said they're going to reset it and see if it will go around, then we can get on it. But then even if that doesn't work, then we'll have to leave. But as it stands, it's just us. Oh, hello, look. It's going. I think we made our right call, Jim. It's not my first moderate thrill ride. <laughs> Unfortunately, the mystery of speed and magic will have to wait till next time because they did indeed ask us to leave the queue. Uh, we outstayed our welcome, didn't we? <laughs> we did outstay our welcome. There's also a like dueling coaster down there that we're gonna do next time. It's 20 to four now. We've decided to end our time at Ferrari World. I think too many high speed coasters has got to my head a little bit. So I think we're gonna call it a day and then we've still got quite a few rides to do on our next visit once that video comes out i will link that down below so if you're wanting like the full Ferrari world experience it's just going to be split over two parts it's an exit through the gift shop situation they've got some ferrari puma trainers i can't see a price on them but they're really cool jimmy really likes the look of this hat but it's 175 dirhams so you're probably looking at about 40 quid something that i do think is quite cool though is this drawing set so it's got some pencils and then the rubber makes it look like a screwdriver. This is 79 dirhams, so a bit too much money than what I would pay, but either way, I do think that's really cool. Oh wow, they've got loads of trainers. This is my personal faves. You know what, I think I like that because I like the um, checkerboard up on the on the side. Turbo track. Turbo track. <laughs> oh, there's a price tag. How much? Guess, everyone guess, how many dirhams? Uh, 700. 445. You're both way off, 270. 270 dirhams okay oh they're juniors that's why so something that's quite good to know is on your way out they do ask if you want to come back in because obviously this is at yas mall and there's loads of good food options here so you can get your hands stamped and come back in you haven't got to stay for the full day we've decided to not get our hands stamped because we have got that second visit to come but i think what we'll do now is we'll end this video and in the next one it'll be our evening at Yas Mall and go to Chili's for some dinner. We haven't been to a Chili's since 2019 so it's been a long time hasn't it? Oh, I'm gonna make up for it. <laughs> Overdue some egg rolls. Right anyway we'll see you in the next video. Bye! So guys it's the end of the video so if you like subscribe and you know do all that good stuff and see you in the next one. Bye bye!